Welcome back everybody to the Pokemon Fire Red Randomizer. We had a pretty uh, pretty big episode yesterday. We completed Self Company. We got the next thingma thing. And by that I mean I don't know. We did a lot of stuff. We got badges and shit. And the last thing that we need to do now is go all the way down here. And deal with all this stuff. Uh, did I go up here already? I think I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, because in uh, blue and red and stuff, you actually get swift there, but here they changed it to that. Oh, hello. We can actually get this item now. It's a good thing that I end up doing this later. We got mirror coats! Oh boy, I cannot wait to never use that. How exciting. Well, nonetheless, we already defeated some of these guys here, so at the very least we got something done before we, uh, got trapped. Yush. Alright, so the last one was the Deoxys, I think. It was some ridiculous... Pokemon like that. And now it is going to be a Hitmon Chan. Okay. Um Hitmon Chan is pretty cool. Only really useful in generation four on, in my honest opinion. Oh my goodness gracious, that was lucky. And the reason I say that, I've said this before, I think Himachan is the best when he has, you know, Thunder Punch, Fire Punch, and Ice Punch. However, until Generation 4, that would all... Really? Come on. Until Generation 4, that would only be for uh, special type moves, and obviously special type is... Or special attack is not something that Himachan really has. Come on, just catch it. Come on, oh my goodness. I'm so mad. This is why I like having an electric type with Thunder Wave so that we can just stun this guy. It makes it a little bit easier, I think. You would think so. Thank you. I'm never going to use this guy. I've, I've got freaking Machamp. The spirit of a pro boxer has infused this Pokemon. It throws punches that are faster than a bullet train. Whoa. But uh, yeah, in Generation 4 on, the sp split where there can be physical fire moves or like special fighting moves and blah blah blah. Yeah, sure. We could actually get the, uh, oh, okay, the good rod from Fuchsia City. Catch Magic Picard with a rod, I want to see it. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Which is kind of interesting, if you think about it. Because you can get the good rod in Fuchsia City, and then you gotta come back all the way up here. Although, I, I believe they intend for you to go to Fuchsia City, and then go from the right side, all the way up. I'm doing it a little bit different. Hey, Luca! She's awesome. But, I, yeah, um, so I'm going all the way down, so that I can go to Fuchsia City, so that I can go south from Fuchsia City. Which actually means nothing, because that's not where you're supposed to go anyways. So I don't know why I'm doing that. Well, does it matter? I don't think it matters. I think it's just faster if you go from Pallet down, though. Whoops. Oh well. I mean, it's not that big a deal. I went back up anyway, so I can fight some trainers on the left side and do stuff you had to do at Saffron. So it's no big deal. I don't think so, anyways. I could be wrong. Uh, man, that item would be useful to have, depending on what it is. Hopefully it is something useful. We're not gonna know until we defeat this guy. Um, I have, like, two Moonstones. If, if you want them, you can have them. I don't have any use for them. Schoolgirl Justin with a Shedinja. Well, this is perfect timing, because I have a Houndoom. Goodbye.
Nice. And Omnite. Yeah, let's just swap for Victory Bell. Victory Bell will be the best choice for this. See, I don't think uh, fighting all these guys is going to take more than two episodes, really. The only reason I'm doing this is because the little bit extra in experience would be nice, and we might find a useful item, like a TM or something. That's the plan, anyways. Not that I know what I would get, or even get rid of, but... I mean, I'd rather have the option. Bright Powder. That lowers accuracy of the enemy Pokemon, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, yes. Oh, what would I give that to? Suffice it to say, I'd probably give that to Electabuzz. Yeah. I mean, Shovel was useful, but it takes so long to deal with, and I don't, I don't really care anymore. I mean, I defeated an enemy, or whatever, with like all of its health, and I only got like what 13 health back. This is not that big of a deal. Maybe in like a pinch or anything where like I need to have health now and there's no other way to heal then maybe I would but even then it's just like eh. Cause that's never gonna happen. I, I just... I bought 30 lemonades. I think 30 lemonades is gonna be just fine. Higgly buff. Yeah, switch to us. Somehow he's the lowest level. But... Oh, well. Eh, that's why. Because it only needs, like, I don't know, a few more experience to level up. Chocolate! Depending on how fast all this goes, maybe I'll just do this entire thing. Oh no, I'm definitely not going to do that in one. Yeah. Come on. Charge! That increases the power of electric move type moves for one turn. Yeah. No. I'd rather really keep what I have. I mean, the most probably the most useless thing would be Will O' Wisp, but it's it's Will O' Wisp, so why would I get rid of that? You know. Great way to inflict a burn. Very helpful. Yo, we don't have to go through any more caves except for Victory Road. So, no, quote unquote caves. We are going to go to an area that has. Pokemon everywhere! Yippee! But it's not really a cave, it's a building, so that might be interesting. On Doom gains experience. Hollywagger. Huh? Well, we can switch that out for Electabuzz. No problem. Uh, let's just go Shock. I really should have Shockwave, like, in the front, you know? It would make sense, wouldn't it? Since that's what I use more than anything else. Chinchu. Hmm. Yeah, let's... Let's switch. Because Chinchu, I believe, is actually a rock. Yeah, because Chinchu evolves into... Um... Goofface. I don't know what his name is. I forgot. Ah, no. Quagmire. There we go. Is it Quagmire? I don't know. It's quack something. Quack quack. No, it's not duck foot. Oh, too bad. Yep, that sucks. I bird we're gonna want to do battle with you. Oh, I did want to check the map to see if we could actually get there from Fuchsia City. I'm like almost impositive that we can. Ratata. Okay. If you say so. <laughs> I mean good luck with that. I mean, Raticate's fine. Raticate's not awful. I mean, Hyper Fang and Super Fang are helpful for sure, but... Eh? Dugong. Show us what you can do. Gong the Doos, or whatever that means. I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's happening, but we're, it's working. This is probably, I should have done this like, I don't know. Five or six episodes ago. If not more than that. Oh well. Um, how close is Houndoom gonna level up? Yeah, nah. That's right, Houndoom takes forever and a half to level up. 
Ah, oh, that's not where I want to go. Dang. Dang! It is where I wanted to go. Oh, tell map. Oh my gosh, it took way too long. Okay, yeah. Seafoam Islands. Because, yeah, we want to go to Cinnabar Island, but it's so much faster to go from Pallet Town. I kind of want to just say fuck it to all these freaking trainers. Ouch. Honestly, because, like, I don't care. We're actually really close to completing this game. Like, we're... I'm... You know, I could actually beat this today. Thinking about it. I mean, it's... 8.55 in the morning, right? And... I'm gonna be home alone until... Like, 3 in the afternoon. Which means I'm probably gonna spend all that time recording. Because I don't have any homework that I need to do until tomorrow. When I should probably do it. I should probably do it today as well. I don't even know what it is, honestly. I'd rather focus my efforts on this right now because... This is more important to me than homework. I mean, well, that's not entirely true. If I had homework that I really needed to do and there's a lot to it... Well, yeah, I'd be doing homework first. Homework is always going to be a priority. But I don't have any homework that specifically needs to be done, so I'm going to be working on this. But yeah, I mean... Yeah, we only have uh, Cinnabar Island, which doesn't... It was only going to take about a video to do that dungeon area. And then maybe the next video is going to be literally doing um, Gym 7 and then Gym 8. Could be. Probably be a half an hour episode, but still. And then we would have like a video or maybe two for Victory Road. And then we got the Elite Four. So I don't know who it is. Okay, nah, that's fine. So yeah, we really only have like maybe six episodes left. Mm, I would maybe seven. Holy crap! Of course, that's if I skip all this right now, which I may. X defend, oh, whoopee. Because I don't necessarily care to fight these guys, to be honest with you. Again, there, I mean, there's some probably some useful items, but... Doesn't really matter to me that much. Haha! I am such a ninja. Oh. <laughs> That was spooky. Oh no! Hello! If you tell your Pokemon how to fly, you'll be able to soar with it into the sky. Yeah, not really, but I mean, whatever. Marlin with a Shedinja. Ah, oh, Noob's still in front, so that'll work. Wee! Wow, okay. Well, it does have 1 HP actually, so obviously it's gonna faint. It's an interesting idea with Wonder Guard where the only damage you can take is having damage taken from something that's you're weak to. I really like that, but that Pokemon has 1 HP, so if it gets hit, it's over. Granted, you could like be an asshole and give that to Sableye, who has no weaknesses at all, because he's Ghost and Dark. Which, you would think that there would be more ghost and dark types... Dual types, you know? I mean, ghost and dark kinda go hand in hand, don't they? But... I don't know. It's just an interesting thought. Alright, well that item there would probably be helpful. Oh crap! A bird Pokemon should be ready for battle. Well, oh. I think this will be like a little bit of a shorter episode, probably in around 20 minutes or so. I just kind of want to grab whatever items are here and then just move on, because who cares? Oh, really? I have not seen that happen in a while.
I don't know, I mean, again, this is all literally just a big waste of time, kind of, thinking about it. I mean, the whole point of this is so that people get some extra levels and whatnot, but I don't really care either anymore. I'm also 10 levels ahead of everything, so I'm not getting that much experience anyways. So this is kind of a waste of time. Eh. No, I wouldn't really say so, because we still got, you know, again, some extra leveling stuff done. So it's not like it was awful, but... Yeah, next episode, we're, honestly, I think we're just going to be in go mode. We're just going to do what we need to do and just beat the game, and well, that'll really be it. Because I don't have anything else planned after I beat the League 4. I mean, I could try to find out who the Pokemon is instead of Mewtwo, but... I don't know if I'm entirely interested in that. If you guys are, then I'll definitely uh, come back to it. Uh, there's other things I would like to do. And other things I need to do, so... I also need to find out what I'm going to be doing after this, because... I had an idea, and then lately I'm just kind of thinking against it. But, I don't know. It's... It's getting harder and harder to choose with everything that I do, because it's like, well, I made- I did that idea, now I gotta find another idea, and... That's not always easy. Ah, barely. I always go with bird Pokemon, I've dedicated myself to them. That's cool. I think bird Pokemon kind of suck, honestly. I mean, unless you have, like, duck legs that can... It's like bird flying or whatever. Oh, wow. I mean, okay, Togetic will be able to fly at some point. Well, I guess, uh... The middle one... I don't know what it's called. Is that, is that Togetic? And then, isn't it like Toka Kiss or something? I don't freaking. Wismer. What the fuck is a Wismer? Oh, I remember now. Alright. Uh, we haven't seen much of Dugong, honestly. Like, at all. We just got him, this it's just like, whatever. Which is not entirely true, because Dugong is awesome. So, serve? Suffice it to say, I do kind of wish that we had Ice Beam. I would probably take Ice Beam over Icy Wind. I need it. Because we'd have two super power moves, Blizzard and Hydro Cannon, and then we have two more reliable moves that are still strong, but have more accuracy. Like Surf or Ice Beam. But I mean, Icy Wind is fine. It's not like Icy Wind is awful or anything. It's obviously not very strong, but it always lowers speed, which it can definitely be helpful. And especially against uh, dragons. Now, what's interesting though is that I have absolutely no idea what to expect from the Elite Four. Is there no items here? There's literally no items here. I'm so mad. They make it look like there's just green item there. Oh, Ugh, alright. Well. Oh gosh, I. Okay, good. Alright, let's just skip everybody that we can. Which is going to be quite difficult to do, but it can be done. Eh, whatever. I think it's just grass area up there. If there's an item there, then cool, whatever, but I don't care. Because we'd have all those guys to fight, we'd have a whole bunch of people down here to fight, and I don't really care. We got Future Sight. Could be helpful. Probably. So. So there you go. Um. So here is what is going to happen. I'm going to talk to this guy because he is not the one I want to talk to. Oops. I'm the fishing guru's little brother. I simply love fishing. I can't bear to go without. Tell me, do you like fish? Yeah, sure. Good rod. So yeah, good riding catch 
more Pokemon than I think the Ultra Rod. You can catch other different Pokemon along with whatever you could with Blood Rod. I think. I don't know. Something like that. But, see, having, like, the Rods and stuff like that is really cool in the beginning when you're trying to find out what you want to have in, on your team. Because now you have another opportunity to find out with fishing and, you know, it's, it, I think it's cool. I like it. Especially because it could be anything ex even water types or not water types or whatever, so, yeah. But, anyways, um, I am going to heal up and I'm going to fly to Pallet Town. And in the next episode, we'll be getting, we'll be starting at Pallet Town and going south to deal with, uh, Cinnabar Island. So, until then, I hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day.